Welcome to Spark Online! Hi there, welcome to our Wednesday Spark Online video. Today we're going to talk about our toolbox and what we can find in our toolbox and how we can use our gifts to reach other people with the good news of Jesus. Okay, so today's lesson is about God's toolbox. Do you know what God's toolbox is? No? It's the church. That's where he keeps us, his tools, to use us to help other people reach Jesus. All right, so what do I have here? Toolbox. Toolbox. What do you think's inside of it? Tools. Tools? What do we use tools for? Building stuff. Building stuff? Like this tool here? Yeah. What is this for? A hammer. A hammer? What's hammer used for? Like maybe hanging up pictures on the wall? Mm -hmm. Or building a deck or a porch? What is this tool? A screwdriver! And what is, what's this used for? Screwing in screws. <laughs> Screwing in screws or, you know, building furniture or fixing things. What is this tool used for? It's a baking tool. You don't use this to build things? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> this is a whisk. Now, whisks aren't good for building, but they're very good for baking, right? Mm -hmm. Each tool is special and has its own special purpose. We wouldn't use a whisk to hammer a nail, but a whisk is very good for baking. We expect to find a hammer, a screwdriver, a wrench in a toolbox. In the same way that we expect God to use Pastor Dan, Pastor Dave, or our Sunday school teachers to teach us about God's love. Can you think of a way that God could use this hammer for his glory? No? Anyone? Okay, so what about when we do backyard mission trips, if somebody used this hammer to build someone else a, a deck or fix their porch or fix their roof. Isn't that a great way that we could use this hammer to help other people see God through us? Can you think of a way that God could use this pen? That's not a tool. It's not a tool, but he can use it as a tool, right? Do you guys remember getting birthday cards from the St. Mark's Family Ministry team? Now we have somebody on that team sending out birthday cards to our kids so that they get a special letter from us in the mail on their special day. All right, I have one more very important tool that God can use. Are you ready? All right. Can you guess what it is? The Bible. The Bible, very good. It's a tool that God uses to talk to us. Isn't that great news that we can talk to God and we can hear him talk back to us by reading our Bibles? God has created each of us unique and different. He wants us to use our gifts for him. Like how James uses his music to lead us in worship. Or like how our hospitality team at church, they used to have snacks and coffee ready and waiting for you when you came in to worship. This is my Bible. This is the most important tool that God has given us. His word shows us God's love and it shows us how he uses ordinary people, everyday people for his glory. We must make sure that we have this in our toolbox for everyday life. It will show us ways that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus within our church and within our community. God wants to use us, each and every one of us, we all have special gifts or talents or abilities, and he calls us to use our special gifts to be the hands and feet of Jesus. Thank you for joining me for another Spark Online. See you next week.